how to identify your audience and find your future customers online. Hi, welcome to today's presentation. Today we are going to do how to identify your audience and find your future customers online. Okay, before we begin, uh, my name is Eddie. I'll be doing the presentation today. Uh, I started doing business online in uh, back in 1996. I've started and built several web properties, uh, building one of them to an eight digits uh, turnover with a zero at spend. I'm a certified trainer, uh, accredited business coach and consultant, and I currently work with companies and individuals from uh, around the world. I employ the coach, consult, and train method uh, for all my uh, learners uh, you know, around the world. So if you're interested to work with me, uh, my email address is actually uh, hey at uh, edito.com, hey at edito.com, or you can WhatsApp me. I'll be sharing my contact details at the end of the slides also. Before we begin, would you be interested in knowing how to get up to 250% more conversion to your website with one simple 10 minute strategy. So if you're interested, uh, the QR code is actually on the screen now. Yeah, you can actually scan the QR code. Uh, if not, you can use the URL on the screen also. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, send an email to me at hey at edito.com. Uh, we can take it from there. Okay, we have all had the experience of looking for something uh, and not being able to find it. Uh, it's frustrating and uh, time consuming and it can feel like a pointless exercise if you are forced to keep at it for long. So for a business owner, there's nothing more frustrating uh, than uh, knowing that there's an audience out there for your product, who are looking for your product or your service, but not knowing who they are or where to find them. Okay, so in this uh, particular presentation, I will break down the process to help you first identify and then locate your audience. Uh, so that you can fine-tune your marketing uh, campaigns and get the leads that you need. Okay, so let's begin. Number one, identifying your audience. Uh, we can actually look uh, at the social media for some guidance on uh, how to identify an uh, audience. If you have an existing customer base, you can begin by analyzing it using two categories of information, the demographics and the psychographics. Uh, from there, you can uh, use the information about the problems your products or services solve uh, to narrow your search. Okay, let's break it down further. Okay, on the demographics, demographics are easy, so let's uh, start there. Uh, demographics are actually facts about your customers and your or your target audience uh, that can help uh, uh, you identify them. Okay, they include things like uh, the age, gender, uh, geographical location, where are they located, uh, education level, uh, income level, marital status, uh, employment, uh, and the, or the industry that they are in. Uh, there are actually uh, various uh, options available targeting uh, the wrong people. Uh, you may end up bucking up the wrong tree. Uh, for example, if you are selling a very uh, a product or services and you're only servicing uh, for, you know, I'm from Singapore, so if I'm only servicing Singapore, uh, it, it makes no reasons or no uh, sense, uh, in fact, uh, for me to try to target somebody from America. So I'm just wasting my resources, you know, doing my, my targeting that way. So if you are, if you, uh, for example, if you are selling a very, very hippie, trendy product, uh, you know, you may, you may want to target because bulk of your audience will probably be the younger generation. So if your target audience, uh, you skewed it into, let's say, uh, for example, the 50s, the 60s, and the 70-year-olds, um, you may be bucking up the wrong tree. So in short, uh, demographics actually help you decide, or rather, uh, you should be deciding, you know, uh, which part of, of the demographics they are in. Okay, so have uh, some basic information about uh, who your uh, customers are, uh, can uh, actually help you identify the right target audience for your products and services. Okay, the next uh, category, the psychographics, uh, 
uh, it actually illustrates uh, your target audience uh, interests, uh, preferences, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay, uh, example, uh, if you are running a gym, uh, some of the interests to consider may include uh, the following, uh, the health status, the fitness level, uh, weight loss, uh, whether they are overweight, underweight, uh, running, uh, example running, uh, you know, it could be for interest, passion, and uh, or even uh, they are out for, you know, to, 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 prep, to prep themselves uh, for competition. So let's say, for example, if you're running a gym that's targeting only, uh, let's say, you know, people who are only interested in keeping fit. I just want to stay fit. I just want to stay, you know, alert. Uh, you know, I do not uh, want to take part in any competition of what sorts. Or whatever so uh, you know if you are targeting people who are competitive runners for example uh, you may be bucking uh, bucking up the wrong three so in short um, decide who you want uh, who you want uh, as your target audience uh, and go for that particular niche first okay uh, another example if you're owning uh, you own a clothing uh, boutique uh, what are the some of the interests that you might want to uh, include uh, you could uh, consider including uh, or consider uh, pop culture interests. For example, if you own a boutique, uh, you may want to target people uh, who, uh, who watches um, uh, fashion shows such as uh, Project Runway or Say Yes to the, uh, to the Dress or who follows uh, fashion designers like uh, Christian Siriano uh, or Ralph uh, Lauren. You know, I've seen many ads doing it all wrong, targeting it too generally. Uh, ending up burning a lot of money to do the testings. So even before you uh, start your testing, you should be doing some smart testings. So your uh, the target audience that you are targeting uh, should be uh, a niche up first uh, before you even you do the testings. Okay, so don't try to spread like, for example, I've seen so many people doing 18-year-old uh, and above location Singapore. That is a huge uh, net that is, you're going to spread around. Uh, you may end up uh, getting the right audience if you're lucky. Uh, but more often than not, I don't think you will get, uh, you probably will need to spend a lot of money in order for you to get the right audience. So uh, know what you're trying to sell and know what you're trying to uh, uh, serve uh, and uh, know who you are trying to sell to and who you're trying to serve to. Okay, benefits are, prob are problem solving. Finally, you should also give some thought uh, to what problems your products or or services uh, solve, and who uh, and what it be uh, what benefits it pro uh, provides to the people who, who are likely to buy it. Okay, uh, here are some questions to ask yourself: uh, What types uh, of people uh, might have the problem I'm trying to solve? Okay, and uh, what solutions what solutions are actually uh, are they looking for? Uh, why do they need a solution? That is, you know, what are their pain points? Uh, what am I offering that's uh, different from my competitors? What's my unique selling proposition or unique selling points? Okay, so uh, what you can do after having all these questions answered, okay, asking uh, these questions uh, will help you fine-tune your demographic and uh, psychographic requirements. By the time you have worked uh, your way through all the three categories here, you should have a good idea of who your target audience is. Okay, so after you have identified your target audience, uh, it's time uh, to think about uh, where to find them online. Here again, there are multiple methods you can use uh, alone or in combination uh, to find your audience. Uh, but normally we will just start with social media. Marketing has uh, became so easy uh, as compared to last time. Uh, as compared to uh, you know the traditional uh, media format, where you know if you if you put up an advertisement in the newspaper, you're hoping for the best. You're hoping that the right person picks up the paper and read your ad. So uh, so you're actually spreading your cake very 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 thin. So in short, okay, let's start with social media, which can be extremely useful uh, for connecting your with your target audience. You can use uh, demographics to identify the sites where your audience is most likely uh, to visit. So uh, let's start from there. Okay, number one, uh, Facebook. Facebook definitely is uh, still the largest uh, social media site and uh, uh, skills the oldest. Uh, uh, according to the stats, 69% of Americans have a Facebook account. And with the exception of people uh, age 65 uh, and over, 
uh, we, uh, it, it, they have a majority in every age group. So most people uses Facebook. Okay, Instagram. Uh, Instagram uh, users are mostly uh, the younger generation or the younger ones, uh, but it's, it's, it's changing, it's evolving. Uh, so um, uh, as compared to Facebook users, they are generally younger, uh, which is uh, uh, approximately two thirds of the American population under the age of 30. Uh, they are actually, uh, you know, on Instagram. Okay, and uh, interesting uh, thing to note is that uh, there are more women than men who uses uh, Instagram. Okay, number three, Twitter. Twitter users uh, encompasses only about 22% of the US or American uh, adult population and uh, has more men than uh, women users. Uh, Twitter users tends to be urban and educated uh, when compared to other social media platforms. Uh, we all know that, uh, you know, Elon Musk just invested into Twitter. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, wasting, uh, waiting, waiting for uh, the involvement, uh, the, the evolution of the Twitter. Uh, I'm, just, I'm very curious uh, how would uh, Twitter evolve into next with uh, Elon's, uh, you know, uh, involvement. Okay, number four, uh, Pinterest. Users of Pinterest uh, is, uh, are usually heavily female and tend to be affluent uh, and educated. They encompass almost every age group, uh, although it's worth noting that the smallest uh, demographic of, uh, of uh, Pinterest users are actually uh, aged uh, above uh, 65. So they are generally young. Okay, so number five, LinkedIn. LinkedIn uh, users tend to be, uh, again, under the age of uh, 65 and highly educated. They are most likely they're not uh, living in cities and suburbs and, and are more likely to be looking for professional services and products uh, than consumer goods. So if you are doing B2B businesses or, so, uh, or, or providing B2B uh, service or solutions, um, you know, you should not be ignoring uh, LinkedIn. Uh, don't put too much of your egg on Facebook marketing uh, if you are doing B2B business. I'm not saying that you, are, you should uh, forget about Facebook totally, but I, I, I'm su uh, strongly suggesting that you consider LinkedIn marketing as well. Okay, so uh, consider the type of uh, product or services you sell. Uh, you should uh, always consider that, uh, you know, and uh, where people are more likely uh, to look for it. Uh, we will talk about Google later, but on the social media here are some of the general guidelines. So yeah, it's also worth mentioning uh, if you have a locally based uh, business, uh, Facebook is really good at uh, getting in front of users uh, based on geolocations. Uh, sometimes we run ads and only use zip codes uh, as our qualifying target uh, criteria if we are interested in reaching everyone that lives, works and plays within our target uh, zones or areas. Okay, so where to find who? So uh, where can we find the audience we would love to have? Uh, below are some of the guidelines. Uh, Facebook. Okay, uh, Facebook uh, users uh, look for all types of goods and services ranging from consumer goods uh, to business products and services at every every level. So uh, you well like it or not, uh, like them or hate them, you know, uh, you cannot in ignore Facebook marketing. Okay, the next one would be Instagram. Uh, Instagram is likely to be the most useful uh, for if you are selling products uh, uh, for selling products. Uh, so, although some of the services can lend themselves uh, to, to uh, Instagram as, uh, as well, but uh, those who are doing products uh, or solutions, uh, you know, a solution with, uh, with products uh, generally does better uh, on uh, Instagram. Okay, for example, any service where you can show the before and after photo is a good match for uh, Instagram. Example. Uh, if I have some cosmetic product that is going to make Eddie look better and younger, you know, uh, you know, you, you know, you can take a before and after picture uh, and then post it on Instagram. Uh, it creates a lot of engagements. Okay, so ne next one that we are going to talk about would be uh, this Pinterest. Pinterest users are accustomed to finding products on site and pin uh, their interested products for later purchase. So they, uh, they also uh, share interesting images. Uh, so you should also share uh, interesting images uh, to encourage pins. So uh, this will encourage, uh, you know, uh, in Pinterest users uh, for, uh, you know, to encourage them to pin to their boards uh, for later purchase, uh, purchases. LinkedIn. 
uh, LinkedIn next uh, LinkedIn users tends to be professionals and are most likely to search for business uh, and products uh, uh, and services uh, online. So what you should be uh, considering to do would be uh, share uh, interesting overviews, uh, encourage uh, participations. I noticed recently um, LinkedIn encourages a lot of polls, do your polls, so do your engagements, uh, you know, etc, etc. Okay, so LinkedIn uh, is one area you cannot ignore if you are doing B2B. Okay, the next one uh, that I have not mentioned previously is uh, YouTube. Pay cap on it if you are a national, international or even a local business. Uh, ads can be compelling uh, uh, if, you, if you do it right. Uh, so uh, tapping on to YouTube ads makes sense if you are, uh, if you are you know, your business. Uh, because you can actually put uh, your videos, uh, you know, before the start of any videos today. So you can actually do very, very target, uh, target, uh, targeted, uh, you know, marketing there. Okay, example now. So if you have a clothing store, uh, you know, uh, uh, you probably make sense for you to find your audience on Instagram uh, or Pinterest. But uh, if you are a law firm, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook might be a better choice. Uh, a be 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 they may be better choices uh, as compared to uh, the IG and PI. So uh, search engine marketing is uh, what we're going to talk about next. Uh, in, addition, uh, in, in addition to finding your audience uh, online via uh, social media platform, you, might, uh, you, might, you must also make it easy for your audience to find you. Okay, search engine optimization and uh, marketing are designed to help people in search, uh, to search, uh, in search of uh, your products and uh, services and, and find you. So in short, uh, you need to be able to be found online. Okay, uh, you need to have a website. You need to have a website. I have worked with many companies around the world at the initial part. A lot of them can't be found even with their own company name. Yes. If you search for their own company name and they are ranked like page three, page four, they are not found, they are flooded. And then you see competitors advertising their company name, you know, in their ads. Okay, so the, they have, uh, in short, let's say, for example, you know, uh, editorial marketing, you know, uh, somebody, you know, uh, you know, use my, uh, my uh, editorial marketing uh, as, uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a keyword. Uh, for their ads and uh, I'm not found on page one. So imagine that, uh, imagine that happening. So that can be, you know, detrimental, uh, especially if you are, if you are trying to do any branding exercise or what sort. Okay, uh, SEO uh, comes down to having a properly uh, optimized website uh, and a well uh, established uh, online presence. Uh, you, will, you will need uh, to target the right keywords and identify the search terms that people in your uh, target audience uh, who will be using uh, when they are searching for a business like yours. So you also need to make sure that your site is uh, mobile friendly, very important today. Uh, I have uh, recently, I've gone through stats of all my clients. Uh, the stats are mobile users are now as high as 80% of all users. So your website needs to be mobile friendly uh, and it should also be optimized for voice search. Okay, so uh, standardize your uh, online listing. So at the same time, you should also standardize your online listings and claim your listings on review sites, uh, such as uh, Yelp, uh, Google Reviews, or Google My Business, or Google Business Profile, they call them now, uh, themselves now. Uh, most uh, consumers search for businesses online before they decide uh, whether to buy a product or obtain a service uh, from you. Okay, so having a reliable, uh, having reliable information uh, about your business and having good reviews, uh, you know, talking about you uh, will make your business more visible on Google and other search engines. Okay, so uh, make sure uh, the, uh, uh, what we should uh, need to make sure is uh, your address, your contact uh, numbers, uh, definitely your company name. Uh, operating hours are consistent throughout all the sites. Okay, if, you, uh, if they are not, uh, get it fixed. Um, uh, you know, uh, I, I do, I do find issues with uh, services like Foursquare and Yelp, um, uh, especially uh, so when they are ignoring uh, non-US companies. Uh, they can take months, uh, if ever, to respond to change requests. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, we can control our Google business profiles. Uh, they are by by far the most uh, most uh, 
important of all the review sites. Uh, you know, uh, people are sending reviews uh, via the Google business uh, uh, business profiles, uh, LinkedIn uh, uh, pages, uh, Facebook pages. Okay, uh, you, if you, you, if you can control this much easier as compared to, uh, you know, services, uh, third party services like, uh, you know, Foursquare, uh, Yelp, etc. Et so my suggestion, uh, concentrate on Google business profile first, uh, followed by uh, Facebook pages uh, and LinkedIn pages. Okay, so understanding who your audience is and where to find them is a must for every business. Uh, once you have identified uh, who you're selling to, you'll be able to fine tune your marketing plans or campaigns uh, and, you, uh, and you will spend uh, less to uh, attract uh, new customers, especially if you're doing paid ads. Okay, so in, uh, in short, there's only one way to find out is to test, 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 test and test. Okay, so good luck uh, with your testing. Um, do share your results with me. Uh, share your success stories and the not so successful stories with me. Uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe you know I can uh, help you fine tune a little bit of your ideas and your approaches if you want to. Okay. So uh, lastly, would you be interested in knowing how to get up to two hundred and fifty percent of uh, more conversion uh, to your website with one simple ten minute strategy? If you are interested. QR code is on the screen. The URL is on the screen. Uh, you can pause the video here and uh, type in the URL on your uh, your browsers. Or you can hit me an email uh, at uh, ed hey at edito.com. That's uh, hey at edito.com. Okay, so the in short, okay, please do take action. Uh, don't just sit there. Uh, acquiring the knowledge won't bring you anywhere. Uh, you need to uh, start doing things. Uh, if you don't do anything, uh, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. Uh, even if you fail, you are failing, uh, you know, forward. Please stop. Okay. So, um, how to contact me? Uh, my name is Eddie. Again, uh, you can WhatsApp me at the, uh, the, as, at the number on the screen, or you can actually send me an email. Okay. So, this presentation, uh, uh, this we come to the end of this presentation. Till our next one. Uh, bye for now and cheers.